Welcome back, my dear friends, to Alan Wake 2, the final draft. When it loads. Here we go. Have a heart. But he still got up. The page predicted all of it. It helped me fight him. We need to figure that out if we're going to do anything about it. Somehow we need <coughs> to make sense of this. Yeah, so we were attacked by a dead man. There's no <coughs> rational explanation to what we just saw. I'd love to blame this on mass hallucination caused by inhaling volcanic gas, but we both know that's bullshit. This was supernatural. Well, I'm glad you were the one to say it. Now we can figure out a way forward. So what happened to the sheriff? Right before things got crazy, Sheriff Breaker just vanished. Maybe the sheriff knew more than he was letting on. Hmm. He seemed anxious, like he dreaded what was coming. One more mystery. He dreaded what was coming because he knows what goes on in this place and had read the, the pages. So These is pages this... Are important. Yes, they are, Breaker Saga. Got one before he disappeared. Yes, he did. I'll pick it up in a minute. Is this the work of the cult? The victim of a ritualistic murder turns into a monster. Is there a connection? Looks to me like the cult of the tree is performing rituals to create monsters. Mm, maybe. We need to start with learning this cult's goal, their purpose. Okay, now There's where? There's on the floor. Yes, right there. Thank you. Casey, well spotted. The heart is going to Saga was back at Cauldron Lake. Saga had to pursue Nightingale into the overlap. Finding a way in would be difficult. A ritual. Saga would learn how. Stop the monster. Alrighty. Now just. Saga was back at Cauldron Lake. For the whole thing. He was there too, Nightingale was but wasn't to taken a creature of darkness he was beyond her reach where some other strange reality the dark place merged with ours this place and the dark place a tarp thrown over top drowning everything beneath it a flood of darkness soaking into everything spoiling it rotting it the page called this area an overlap Saga had to pursue Nightingale into the overlap. <coughs> required precise steps, a ritual. Saga would learn how. Stop the monster before he killed again. Her job, he'd be inside, waiting for her. The page called it an overlap. The page that you're reading right now... Referring to a thing that you're going to be dealing with in the future. But uh, that's always been part of the whole Alan Wake deal, and it's great. It's fun. I like it. Can't be opened on this side. No, it can't. <clears throat> Now, because it's come up already a couple of times, I should go to my mind place and see what's what. And then we can get out of here. Okay. Nightingale attacked the us! Into a monster. Light as a way to fight him. Pages predicting the future? There's no rational explanation. This is the case we must solve. Where did he go? Well, he went into the overlap. What? These pages aren't making sense. But it's Cauldron Lake. According to the page, it sounds like Nightingale went back to Cauldron Lake, and he's a... Taken? What am Taken? 
I'm just uh, making sure all of the... Oh, look, you've got new stuff to look at slash listen to things are gone. There we go. Alrighty. Nope, didn't think so. And didn't think so either. <coughs> Alrighty. The page places Nightingale back at Cauldron Lake. Calls him a Taken. We need to head over there, stop him, before anyone else gets hurt. Okay. Alright then. Let's do this. Oh, look. It's Thornton and Mulligan. Sheriff Breaker disappeared. Nightingale turned into some sort of a monster and there are offices down. You Did two handle things here. We need to get back to Colton Lake immediately. Fuck me. That's terrible. We'll do what we can, man. Did you get spooked by the bodies when there's literally the corpse of a fellow officer right in front of them? Man, Thornton and Mulligan are dense. Seriously, what the hell are you two even doing being deputized? It's not real. No, Thor. Monsters are real, and magic's definitely not real. Except in Bright Falls. <coughs> and other such places. Okay. Um. Can't open this with my bare hands. Just looting everything I see. And a bunch of things that I don't because, you know, I can't actually see much when it's very dark. Um, okay, this way. The going down the stairs animation is so much better. Going up just kind of looks like regular walking, but her knees go up a little higher, obviously. So still better than average, but not quite walking up stairs. It's very, very rare that you'll see a game that has proper stair walking. But they got the down right. They got the down perfect. I only know a little bit about animation, but it would still be tricky, I'm sure. Easier to manage now, but I'm sure it'd still <laughs> be painful. Are you gonna let me speak to them or not? just a moment, man. Someone will be right with you. I'm going to just use your computer. Kill the Joe, make some mo Yeah. Yeah, if if you're gonna drain all the coffee, you make some more. That's just fair. If in any office. Okay. Let's 
a load of bullshit. Well, he's not wrong. Do you think I like throwing you in jail every other day? No, I don't. Do you have any idea how much paperwork you're causing me? What's a lot? You can sit here and stew for a while. Think about your life choices, buddy. Is it really worth this? One of you is stealing the toilet paper. I've been counting them, and there's an entire roll missing every day from stock. Theft is taken seriously around here. It's a sheriff station for Pete's sake. One of these days, I'm going to catch you red-handed, and you better believe you're getting thrown out. What a disgrace you are. What kind of nut counts toilet paper rolls? Sounds like you've got too much time on your hands. I don't know. Bog roll is important. Nightingale and his cult are dangerous. We need to be prepared in case things escalate more than they already have. Can you call it in, Casey? A smart choice, Anderson. A A Agent Casey here. Yeah. We need backup. The Bright Falls case. Whoever you can spare. ASAP. Think we'll actually find Nightingale at the lake? The pages haven't been wrong yet. We can't assume the person writing these pages isn't playing us. I agree. But it's our best lead. Ah, uh, yes. Mayor Setta. Mayor Setta won't roll over on the issues. I don't remember if we ever saw Mayor... Setter. Previously, I don't think we did. Rinse and repeat. Clock out. Get a beat. Or maybe three. Back to Cauldron Lake. <coughs> Come clean, Anderson. I know why Nightingale was here 13 years ago. He was chasing a writer, Alan Wake. Tammy mentioned him. She's writing a book on his disappearance. You know the detective character from his books, Alex Casey. Yeah, I've heard the jokes at the office. Cold case Casey. Murder case <laughs> Casey. Sorry. Uh, the same name, similar job. It's the first thing anyone thinks of. It annoyed me, but that was it. Then, ten years ago, I started getting strange letters in the mail. Fragments of prose describing murders. You've heard the stories about what happened in New York. Some of it is bodies start to pile up. It was a murder cult. Turns out the fragments sent to me were from the crime books of Alan Wake. The cult was copycatting the murders from the books. In their heads, they were performing a ritual to bring Wake back. Their imagined prophet. After that case, I started looking into Wake's disappearance on the side. And you thought this case might be connected to him? His name does keep popping up. I just wanted you to have all the facts. Next time, give them to me before we find ourselves in the middle of a horror story.
turn to the heart. The page says Nightingale's in something called an overlap. Need to figure out exactly what that means. I'm happy I'm not in charge of this mess. Thanks. Let's start looking for Nightingale where he was killed. Great. This area is supposed to be close to the public. F B C yes. It's only the bloody Federal Bureau of Control. And one of the Koskula brothers. Because it has to be the that boy. pages knows what will happen. <coughs> because they're behind this. Or because they can see what's coming. Impossible things are happening here. Pretty sure the it's world operating on different rules. Pretty sure it's Ilmo. I need to understand this strange logic. To see the clues. To solve the case. That's just beautiful, though. Absolutely gorgeous scenery. <laughs> I've been thinking more about the cult of the tree. What sort of cult refers to themselves as a cult? In my experience, they don't. We're not seeing the full picture yet. Here they are. Hey, hello there. How are you folks doing? Those restricted area signs don't do a damn thing, huh? Hello. Saga Anderson. Are you two supposed to be here? I'm Ilmo Koskela. Fantastic to meet you. And yes, Stephen here hired me to show him through the woods. He's in town on important government business. Fixing this impressive piece of hardware. I work for the FBC, ma'am. I'm authorized to be here. And I bet you two are here about that murder. Nasty stuff. How's it going? What is this machine? What is this thing? It's just a monitoring station, ma'am. The Federal Bureau of Control checks volcanic activity and air toxicity levels. <laughs> no need to worry, though. It's Bullshit. for research purposes. That's one gorgeous wetter saga. <laughs> Looks Nordic. I bet a family member made it. Yeah, my mother did. My mother made this sweater for me. How do you know? I knew it. My mom used to knit those sweaters for me and my brother. Watery. My hometown was founded by Finnish immigrants. So between your name and the sweater, I figured your family might be from Finland too. Suomi, Finland. Ulla, Karjalanpiirka. Close. My mom's family is from Sweden originally. I don't know much about them beyond that. The sweater is just something to remember her by. So what the hell is the Federal Bureau of Control anyway? Stephen, we're investigating a murder that occurred nearby. What can you tell me about your bureau? Nothing that isn't classified, I'm afraid. <laughs> but I don't know anything about a murder. The operations here are run by a different department. I'm just here to make some repairs. The wiring on this thing frays every couple months. Yep, that's the raccoons. They grow real big here with teeth like you wouldn't believe. Can not run through a garbage can. Yeah, it's not the shadow bastard wolves at all. How did you hear about the murder, Ilmo? Do you know anything that could help us? People tend to tell me things. The Koskala brothers are kind of a household name around here. Speaking of, uh, if you're looking for some fun, stop by Watery. Just down the road from Bright Falls, there's our Coffee World Amusement Park. There's sauna, sauna ja vihta. <laughs> and we offer a variety of guided tours, hunting, fishing, hiking, whatever strikes your fancy. You name it, we probably got it. That's all for now. <laughs> I think what Elmo means to say is, if I can possibly sell it to you, we've probably got it. What you find there, Steve? Something that shouldn't be here. Hmm. 
Well, I'm going in to look at this piece of paper anyway. Maintenance note. Clear signs of tampering. Signal was rerouted into a transmitter that is... VIP tickets to Coffee World, huh? <laughs> Signal was rerouted into a transmitter that is not one of ours. I fixed it so any alerts will come our way, but it's definitely concerning. I'll make a report from the investigations department. Leaving this here in case I'm not the next person to fix this thing. If you're reading this, check for tampering. We may want to put more secure metal casing around the whole thing so that the raccoons can't get to it anymore. Yes, definitely, definitely not raccoons. Ah, yes, of looted that one. <coughs> okay, well, Elmo, Steven, catch you guys later. Let's get to the murder site, Casey. A lot of things about this case keep bothering me. But one thing feels really off. Breaker's disappearance. I don't get the feeling Nightingale was responsible. <coughs> I was about to give you more of those pages. Something didn't want us to have them? Or was protecting him from Nightingale? Spontaneous combustion? I don't know what. Not the kind of disappearance we normally saw. Crime scene's drowning. I never minded rain. Feels like home. No sign of Nightingale. But the page did place him at Cauldron Lake in an overlap. So how do we follow him there? Maybe something around here will tell us. We've seen this symbol before. Yep. Good eye. Well, it's hard not to see it. It's just carved right into the table there. So about all this ritual Monsters, stuff. Monsters, overlaps, rituals. What do you make of all of this? Mm -hmm. The killers are usually the ones performing the ritual, not the detectives. Acting out their sick fantasy. They may be trying to get you involved. Forcing you into their twisted world. But with dead men coming alive, the word ritual starts to have more weight behind it. We need to look around, learn what this ritual is. So we find Nightingale, then what? After we find Nightingale, <coughs> what then? I've never arrested a monster. I've watched you arrest plenty of monsters, Anderson. You know what I mean. Monster monsters. Light worked against him at the morgue. That might be the only way to stop him from hurting anyone else. Bare feet. Nightingale. Well, I'll we see found him. Footprints lead. Can you come through the crime scene one more time, Casey? Well, we're finding Just in him. Case. On it. If anything comes up, I'll radio you. He goes this way. Or oh, he went this way. Oh. Yeah. Just a quick detour. Although, not much point yet. I think I'll have to go back there anyway. Witch's Ladle, Witch's Hut.
Oh, that's an ominous bit of There is the witch's hut, and I've been up there. Don't think there's any point going up there again now. The tracks lead into the water. Where do you go from here? Ah. I can feel something. A presence. Nightingale isn't far. Okay, more bullets. Never a bad thing. Profiling time. I know Nightingale is somewhere around Cauldron Lake. The tree was a threshold. This place and the dark place. <laughs> You're in over your head. Next stop, Caldera Street Station. The threshold, like a doorway, leading to Nightingale. It's somehow connected to a tree, which is ladle. Well, of course it's bloody witch's ladle. What other tree would it be around here? But things are about to get start getting dangerous. <clears throat> No mystery in Cauldron Lake. Yes, I've read that. What is that? <coughs> Seems like it's reacting to the light. These aren't the same tracks that were here before. They're headed into the tree, not out of it. was covering another page. The fiend well. was in place. Saga stepped into the witch's hut. Inside, a bright light. There were objects that stood out to Saga, as if the light had manifested them. The witch's hut. Okay. I trust the pages to lead me to the overlap. The fuse was in place. She found it among the junk in the forest. Saga stepped inside the witch's hut. Something rushed through her. A presence. Familiar. She couldn't quite place it. Something long forgotten. She tried to hold on to it. But it was already gone. Inside, a bright light. Saga felt safe. Like nothing could hurt her here. There were objects that stood out to Saga as if the light had manifested them. Pulled them from the darkness. A shift in reality. Heavy with hidden meanings. A coffee thermos, a shoebox, a mop and a bucket, a poster on the wall, and in the cabinet, another manuscript page. I don't like that I missed two of them in the first chapter. It troubles me. But what the hell. Can't have everything. Now... It is the witch's hut. Cheers back this way, because it's somewhere much drier than our current location. Ah. Not far, though. 
but still much drier. Higher and drier. This is the witch's hut. Anderson, I thought I saw something in the woods. Probably just a deer, but I'm gonna check it out. Okay, I found another page. Following up on a lead. Keep checking in. Roger. The fuse box is missing a fuse. I need to find one to turn on the lights. Well, I remembered loosely where that was. Not in here, but I'm... Busted. That we read. This one looks good. There we People go. should really stop littering, though. Yes, they really should. They're also really not going to. of the witch in the sign. Saga addressed the witch. The smudged line on the heart. The second part recited from memory. I brought you the heart, witch. Show me the terror. Saga pushed the heart through the hole in the sign. And another page. Dark Poem 1, that's one of the uh, final draft specific ones, I believe. Ah. So once you find the shoebox, you also discover that you've got a shit ton of other weapons. I liked this hunting crossbow. And I also like the semi-automatic shotgun. Now, we have charms. Attacks stagger enemies more often. That's not a terrible one at all. Coffee mug. Increase maximum health. From Logan. That's always good. And flare duration and area of effect. Resilience against being staggered or interrupted or chance to stun enemy on flashlight boost. You know what? I'm going to ditch that one in favour of these two. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Actually, I'll... That looks wrong. It's not neat. Ah. Much better. Okay, now... We save. Quick save and manual save because... That's what we do. And now we look at the manuscript page in Dark Poem that we discovered. Witch's Ladle, towering over Saga, watching her and the witch. The image of the witch in the sign, Nightingale's heart, a cold, dead lump in her hand. Her definition of sanity had changed since she arrived in this town, but she trusted the pages, was forced to. Saga uh, just uh, the witch. She squinted to read the first part of the ritual words, the smudged line on the heart. The second part recited from memory, the words she had read on the page. I brought you the heart, witch. Show me the terror. 
Saga pushed the heart through the hole in the sign. This was the key. The tree was the threshold. The writer of the first word, not the writer of the last. With the terror of the light and the shadow cast. The third eye now open to project the night. This is the moment to write. This is the ritual to lead you on. Your friends will meet him when you are gone. Alrighty. Now I need to go back to the general store, I think. I'm pretty sure that's where the heart is. So I'm definitely facing the wrong way. <coughs> back here. Ambient music's gone and gotten bloody scary and stuff. Going to stand in the light for a bit. Not that it's doing any good, but I'm still doing it. Some suspicious activity spotted on the 9th of March. No, the 4th of September, 3rd of September. The fielder thought he saw movement in the bushes. Footprints around the area were found, but somewhat compromised by the fielder. Note to self, drain the fielder. 4th of September, nothing to report. Some animals, regular. 5th of September, hunters out after dark. Poachers, heard some gunshots, not one of ours. Gotta keep an eye on these people, they could get more than they bargained for out here. Yes, yes they could. a deer. will allow you to heal. Yes, they will. I'm going to pop another one. Bullets in the first aid box. Now. 
Saga edged toward the broken door. Her gun ready. Flashlight aimed ahead. Nightingale said it would be here. The Cauldron Lake General Store was overgrown. Left to rot. Saga thought about the cult of the tree. They'd been here. Waiting. Planning a gruesome ritual murder. Meanwhile, they played cards in the general store. <coughs> a late night poker game. Saga stepped closer to the door. Had the animal broken it? There was a loud crash. Saga found herself face to face with a cultist. A hulking figure in a raincoat. We watch in the night. Wild eyes behind a plastic deer mask. An axe in his raised hand. Okay. Where's this art then? No. Page from the witch's hut seems to be describing some kind of ritual. <laughs> to get into the overlap, I need to find Nightingale's heart. Read the line imprinted on it, plus the line on the page to the witch's ladle sign. Then push the heart through the hole in the sign. Nightingale's heart disappeared from the morgue. Where is it now? Well. Let us profile him I and find out. I need heart to get to the overlap. <coughs> <coughs> Nightingale was there. The opposite of sunspots. Who said that? That's not it. I don't have what I need to find Nightingale's heart. There must be more. The heart? Where is it? Nightingale's heart. Where is it? Meanwhile, they played cards in the general store. The witch had stolen his heart. Get out of my house. Nightingale's heart is at the general store in a fridge. Right. Ha, huh, that fridge. Yep, that's a heart. The text on the heart is clearer now. The wave Let's crashed go. on the far side of the mirror. Sounds literary, but what does it mean? I feel like I recognize this. The fridge. The heart. I knew it would be here. Like I saw it in a dream. No, more like and you experienced it last it. spiral. Makes total sense. Casey, there are cultists in the area. They're taken, like Nightingale. Watch yourself out there. Yeah, thanks for the heads up. Still finding my way back. 
You have the worst sense of direction. <laughs> Any city in America I can get through drunk and blindfolded. It's these damn trees. Okay, okay. I'm en route to Witch's Ladle. I need to perform a ritual to open the overlap. This case just keeps getting weirder. But it is exciting. Not such a good job at all, Saga. You wasted all your ammo. <coughs> the wave crashed on the far side of the mirror. I brought you the heart witch. Show me the terror. in the overlap. Are you still on your way? Casey! Casey, do you read me? Fuck. Okay, Saga. Going in solo. Mom. Logan? Mom, help. Logan! Where are you? What the fuck was that? Logan's back in Virginia. You're imagining things. Yep. Nothing possibly can go wrong. At all. She can't potentially have been wiped from existence altogether at all. But, well, since she was quite younger. On my way, Alan. Wait. On my way. Did I get turned around? No, this is right. This is moving. Like a nightmare. <coughs> the writer went into the lake. Banished the dark presence. Taken still lurked in the woods. <coughs> the place receded. The current pulled back those with darkness inside, into the lake. Nightingale was there, one of them. The dark presence, Jagger had taken him. The witch had stolen his heart. They sank beneath the waves. 
The dark place, wandering in the shadows, muttering to themselves. It's dark. I'm lost. Where am I? Who am I? I can't remember. It's cold. Premium cabins for rent and bright balls. <laughs> I said that. Can you hear me? I need help. Please, stop this. What did I do? You must dig it out. Their shape shifted. Echoes of the writer's dreams. Fading in, fading out. The next story and the story after that. The writer was writing again. Wow. What the bloody, bloody, bloody hell. And more importantly, ammo. Couldn't give a fog about Nightingale's badge. Not really. It's very much a run the bloody hell away from situation.
that's unfortunate. He's not finished off and I've only got one more shell. Unless... Oh, thanks, ammo. That got the bastard. Take a breath. He's... He's changed the story. The d dark presence. We must stop it before... Easy now. First things first. What's your name? My name is Alan Wake. I'm a writer. I, I've been... Wake? Where did you come from? You've been missing for 13 years. 13...
Where did you go? All of a sudden, the radio stopped working, and then that flooding just disappeared. Crazy forest. Is this who I think it is? Casey, say hello to Alan Wake. Mr. Wake, this is Special Agent Alex Casey. He'll escort you to our car. Casey, I'll meet you there, right after I take a look around. If the flooding's receded, there might be evidence we missed earlier. Okay. See you there. Alex Casey? How? Am I still... Is this the dark place? <laughs> 